I remember the way it used to be. There was a call years ago where a truck ended up out in the middle of this field. We got to the scene, unloaded, and tried to get to the patient. I say tried because we had such a hard time moving over the rough ground that we just picked up the cot and equipment and carried it off. By the time we got out of there, we were worn out. Uh, then, of course, we had to do the same thing with the patient loaded to get back. Today, with the technology I have, I'm able to handle those situations without a problem. Whether transporting, loading and unloading, providing patient care, or cleaning up. Strikers MX Pro helps me do my job faster, easier, and better. Who wouldn't want that? When you get to the scene, it's important to be able to unload without a struggle. It's no problem with the MX Pro. Squeeze the height adjustment release handle and guide the legs down. Disengage the safety bar and you're ready to roll. The MX Pro's large casters just climb over grass, gravel, mud, and the caster bearings are sealed to make sure that dirt and grit don't penetrate. If your partner's tied up, you can lower the cot yourself without a struggle. When it comes to securing the patient, the MX Pro's safety restraints fasten easily across the chest and can be placed at different positions along the litter frame to fit the patient. The MX Pro lets me transport at several heights, including the highest position. To raise the cot, lift slightly, squeeze the release handle, and raise the cot. The optional pull handle helps to make transport even less of a strain for taller operators. To load a patient, approach the ambulance squarely, then pull the cot back enough to engage the hook and squeeze the release handle as your partner folds the legs helps guide the cot into the ambulance and secure it in the cot faster. Even in the confined space of the ambulance the MX Pro helps me do my job. I'm gonna lay you back. A pneumatic backrest helps position the patient. You can move into a trend or shock position by just lifting the foot end until it locks into place. That's what we're looking for right now. And the optional IV pole is easy to access and durable. Whether I'm hanging a bag or an infusion pump, this pole is built to take it. The side rails fold down instead of swinging out, so it's easy to move them out of the way when you need better access to the patient. I keep them raised, even though you can transport and load the cot without the side rails raised if the safety restraints are secured. They're just good secondary restraint. You can actually shorten the length of the cot to 61 inches by raising the backrest, then squeezing the red release handle in the base frame and swinging it away. The optional base lift bar can be used to steer the cot. To lower the cot, remember, lift, squeeze, and lower. Paperwork can tie things up for a while, so I appreciate the fact that one person can load the MX Pro while the other finishes up inside. Unloading is just as easy. Uh, pull the cot from the faster and lower it to the ground. Squeeze the release handle and lift the cot until the legs extend and lock and release the safety bar. The MX Pro is even easy to clean. Its powder coating is durable, makes it easier to see blood and dirt. Greaseless fight adjustment mechanisms help to keep your hands and uniforms clean. And the seamless heat sealed mattress keeps fluids from accumulating and seeping into the mattress. Hey, whether we're on a call or handling housekeeping, it's all part of the job and no doubt we'll do our best. It's just good to know that Strikers MX Pro helps us do it better.
If you've been using striker cots as long as I have, you already know they're designed to help you do your job. They're easy to use, and they're rugged enough to handle whatever it takes to do the job. But if you're new to Stryker, here's your chance to take a closer look. As you unload the cot, release it from the fastener and move it out of the ambulance using the lower grips whenever possible. That helps reduce back strain. When the safety hook stops your motion, the second operator guides the legs down to be sure that they're fully extended and locked. Release the safety bar and roll the cot away from the ambulance. A single operator can raise or lower an unoccupied cot by placing one foot on the base parallel to the tube and away from the pinch point area. Lift the cot slightly to take pressure off the height adjustment mechanism. Squeeze the red release lever and raise or lower the cot. To raise or lower an occupied cot, lift the litter frame just enough to take pressure off the height adjustment mechanism. Squeeze the release handle and raise or lower the cot to the desired height. And keep in mind, good safety practices require that you use two operators to load the cot with a patient. Approach the back of the ambulance squarely. Move the safety bar over the safety hook, then back against the safety hook to raise the legs without hitting the bumper. Lift the cot and squeeze the release handle as the second operator raises the legs using the side rail for stability and leverage and helps to guide the cot into the ambulance. To unload the cot with a patient, again, good safety practices call for two operators. Release the cot from the fastener, guide the cot out using the lower grips to help reduce back strain. When the safety hook engages the safety bar, the second operator guides the legs down to make sure that they're fully extended and locked. Disengage the safety bar and move the cot away from the ambulance. To lower the cot with the head section broken down, the head end operator using the optional base lift bar and the foot end operator lift the cot slightly. The foot end operator squeezes the height adjustment release handle and they lower the cot to the desired height. Stay above the fifth height position. That prevents the head section from coming to rest in the casters. One operator can load the MX Pro without a patient. Just approach the back of the ambulance squarely, roll the safety bar over the safety hook and then back against the hook to be sure the legs will clear the bumper. Lift the litter frame slightly, squeeze the height adjustment release handle and lower the foot end to the ground. Then lift the cot to horizontal, roll it into the ambulance and engage the cot faster. Reverse the procedure to unload an unoccupied cot with one operator. Release the cot fastener, roll the cot out of the ambulance until the safety bar engages the safety hook. Lower the foot end to the ground, squeeze the release handle and raise the cot until the legs are fully extended and locked. Disengage the safety bar and move the cot away from the ambulance. As you can see, Stryker's MX Pro is easy to operate. It's rugged and it's designed to help us do our job. Isn't that everything you really want from a cot?